To play in the NFL is a dream held by millions of people around the world. It's a dream we are all fortunate enough to hold. But with that privilege comes a responsibility, one that my fellow Men of the Year recipients know all too well, to positively affect the lives of people in the community, the country, and the world. Every year, hundreds of NFL players are volunteering for causes great and small. And every year from that group, a new member is selected to join this distinguished fraternity. Tonight, we have an extraordinary occurrence. For only the third time in the 47-year history of this award, there are two Walter Payton NFL Men of the Year. Before we bring them up, here's a look at how Vontez Perfect and Kareem Hunt carried on Walter's selfless legacy. Time is the most valuable asset we all have. It doesn't matter who you are, President Barack Obama or the fireman at the firehouse, everybody has 24 hours, and what you choose to spend that 24 hours doing is up to you. A lot of people say, that, oh, he's a dirty player, he does this, he does that. And there's a fine line in football, and uh, I think that I'm right at that line. You requested this interview. Uh, you requested this opportunity to talk one-on-one -on -one, uh, with us. Why? like literally like right off this exit behind us and then we moved so far away so I'm like still not used to it. Honestly I just want to let the world know you know how sorry I am for my actions and you know it, it's been a tough time for me and I'm extremely embarrassed because of that video. emulate you, they want to be like you, you have a responsibility to them.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the two NFL Walter Baton Men of the Year, Mr. Vontez Perfect and Mr. Kareem Hunt. Everybody dies, but not everybody lives. They tell us we should grow up, but we only just some kids. Only got one life, you ain't gonna live it twice, so you better do it right. We all gonna slow down, but not tonight.